Imagine building the smartest machine on Earth, a brain so powerful it solves problems our best computers couldn't touch in a lifetime. You turn it on, ask a question, and it delivers an answer that changes everything. Then, just as the world is reeling from the breakthrough, it goes silent. That's exactly what happened at Google with their quantum computer, Sycamore. After a discovery that stunned scientists, it was abruptly shut down. The silence left everyone asking, why? This wasn't a technical glitch. It was a deliberate, world-shaking decision. What did Sycamore find? Why pull the plug at its greatest moment? The story is full of genius, mystery, and a decision that has everyone guessing what's really happening behind closed doors. Google had achieved quantum supremacy. Their computer did something no other machine could. It was like the moon landing for technology. One moment, humanity was celebrating a leap forward. The next, the superbrain was switched off. What could be so earth-shattering that the only response was silence? Let's dive in. What is this quantum chip? What did it discover? And why did its silence become one of tech's biggest mysteries? This is about more than computers. It's about our future, the limits of knowledge and the power of technology. It's a story that will make you think, wonder, and maybe even worry. But don't worry, we'll explore it together. And who knows, maybe we'll even have a little fun along the way. Let's get started. Before we get to the secret, let's break down what a quantum computer actually is. Your phone or laptop uses bits, ones and zeros, like tiny light switches. All your photos, emails, and videos are just long strings of these on-off switches. But quantum computers use qubits, which can be on, off, or both at once. It sounds impossible, but in quantum physics, it's real. This is called superposition, and it lets quantum computers explore millions of possibilities at the same time. That's why quantum computers are so exciting. They can solve problems far beyond the reach of even the world's best supercomputers. Imagine a calculator versus a brain that instantly sees every possible answer. The difference is mind-boggling. Google has led the race, pushing the boundaries of what's possible. So when you hear about Google's quantum chip, don't think faster laptop. Think of a new kind of thinking machine, one that explores a universe of solutions in a single moment. It's a revolution in how we process information. What Google built isn't just an upgrade, it's a whole new chapter in technology. Quantum computers could help us discover new medicines, materials, and even unlock the mysteries of the universe. The power is staggering, and that's why what happened next matters so much. This isn't just about speed, it's about changing the rules of what's possible. The stakes are enormous, and the world was watching. Now let's see how Google pulled it off. Google's Sycamore project was years in the making, led by some of the brightest minds on the planet. Their goal, build a quantum computer that could do what no regular computer could. This wasn't about better phones or faster searches. It was about proving quantum computing was real. The challenge? Qubits are incredibly fragile, like soap bubbles that can pop from the slightest disturbance. So Sycamore was housed in a super cold, carefully shielded environment, looking more like a golden chandelier than a computer. The mission achieve quantum supremacy. When a quantum computer does something a classical one simply can't. The test was a complex math problem, designed to be impossible for regular computers. The world watched as the team powered up Sycamore and gave it the challenge. If it succeeded, it would be a hello world moment for the quantum age. The pressure was immense, but the team was ready. They turned on the machine, started the experiment, and waited. What happened next would change everything. So, what did Sycamore do? It solved the problem it was given, but the way it did it was jaw-dropping. The world's fastest supercomputer would have needed 10,000 years to finish the task. Sycamore did it in 200 seconds, less than four minutes. This was quantum supremacy, a new era in computing power. Scientists were ecstatic. It was proof that quantum computing wasn't just theory, it worked. But then, rumors started to spread. The data Sycamore produced wasn't just a solution. It revealed a strange, unexpected pattern in quantum interactions. It was something our current physics couldn't fully explain like discovering a new continent and finding creatures no one imagined. This wasn't just about speed. It was about glimpsing a hidden layer of reality. The chip had shown us something new, something fundamental about the universe. It hinted at new principles of physics, waiting to be discovered. Suddenly, this was more than an engineering feat. It was a scientific revelation, and it was this discovery that set off the chain of events that followed. The world had just seen the future and it was stranger than anyone expected. But then, just as quickly as it began, it was over. 
the silence returned. At the peak of excitement, Google shut Sycamore down. This wasn't a malfunction. It was a deliberate choice. The official reason? The experiment was over and it was time to analyze the data. But many weren't convinced. Why silence a machine that just made history? Theories swirled. Was the chip unstable? Was the discovery too dangerous? Some feared it could break all encryption, threatening global security. Others wondered if it had revealed something unsettling about reality itself. Whatever the reason, the decision was made. The superbrain went quiet, and the world was left with questions. What secrets did Sycamore take into the silence? The public reaction was wild. First, celebration, then confusion. Headlines hailed quantum supremacy, but after the shutdown, excitement turned to suspicion. Why the sudden silence? What was Google hiding? Rival companies challenged Google's claims, sparking debate in the tech world. Online, conspiracy theories exploded. Some joked about self-aware chips or portals to other dimensions. Beneath the wild ideas was real unease. Were we moving too fast with technology? The shutdown raised tough questions about transparency and who decides what discoveries the world is ready for. Scientists dug into the data, searching for answers in the strange patterns Sycamore found. Conferences buzzed with talk of new physics and the limits of human knowledge. The achievement had become a philosophical debate. It wasn't just about a fast computer anymore. It was about the responsibility that comes with power. The world realized some discoveries might be too big to handle all at once. The silence of Sycamore became a symbol of both progress and caution, and the debate is far from over. What does Sycamore's story mean for the future? The shutdown didn't stop progress. It accelerated it. Every tech company and government ramped up quantum research. The race was on, and the stakes were higher than ever. The event forced us to confront the risks. Quantum computers could break today's encryption, threatening everything from banking to privacy. This sparked a new field, quantum-resistant cryptography, to protect our digital world. But quantum computers aren't just about security. They're tools for discovery. They could help us design new medicines, materials, and even model the climate with unprecedented accuracy. The potential is enormous, but so is the responsibility. Sycamore's story forced a global conversation about ethics and control. Who decides how this power is used? How do we keep it safe? The future of tech isn't just about what we can build, it's about how wisely we use it. The Sycamore event was just the beginning of the quantum age. We're still in the early days. Quantum computers are like the giant, mysterious machines of the 1950s, but we know what comes next. Smaller, faster, more accessible technology. Soon, quantum computers will tackle problems we can't even imagine today. They'll help design new drugs, materials, and solutions for global challenges. The journey won't be easy. Building stable quantum machines is still a massive challenge, but the Sycamore story has inspired a new generation to push the boundaries. More breakthroughs are coming, and the pace is only accelerating. The quantum future will change technology, medicine, and society in ways we can't yet predict. It's a wild ride ahead, and we should be both excited and prepared. The silence of Sycamore is just the start of a much bigger story.